So Greg, who is asking the question and what is the question? Thanks, Avi. Great to be here as always. And we did something kind of fun today. We've got some questions that have come in uh, via Facebook that if you want to go to the Own America page on Facebook, you can post questions and we'll answer them there, but we'll also give you a chance to call in uh, and have a conversation or in this case, um, kind of go through a chat exercise with us so that we can answer your question uh, about real estate investing. And Leonard from Ramsey, New Jersey, uh, had a great question, and I'd like to jump on that right now. He's from northern New Jersey. He wants to invest. He's got $50,000. He wants to invest in his first property. He owns his home. Um, Leonard, how old are you? I'll ask, get some of these questions as we go. He's 45. Okay, so good. All right, so at 45, you've got... 25 years left in your real estate investment strategy in your plan because you can do this all the way through your 70s and that's when you're going to want to have this thing cash out. And so the issue um, with being in the New York metro area is similar to the issue with being in parts of California and that is the real estate so expensive that it's very difficult to generate a yield in the housing market. Meaning if you buy a single family home in Ramsey, New Jersey, all right, one of the things that people naturally want to do is buy something near where they live because why not there's a familiarity with it if you sent your kids through the school system you've got an intimate understanding of that all right you've got a, a an understanding of the culture and the people and the economic drivers just by virtue of having, having been there for a long time yeah Leonard's telling me he was he's been there for 25 years so yeah so you have a pretty good feel for the market, so why not stay local? Well, one of the issues is that Ramsey's a really expensive place. And so if you buy a single family home in Ramsey, the average sale price in Ramsey is gonna be easily up into, and, and all the towns around that in Bergen County, New Jersey, is easily a starter home is in the four to $500,000 range. Um, and when it comes time to rent this thing out between your taxes and your other cost of ownership, specifically the taxes, you just can't generate that good of a yield and for those of you that are new to this, yield is cash flow. The formula on yield is how much rent am I collecting? And then what are my taxes, my insurance, my property maintenance, and my property management going to cost me? And then what I have left over, if I look at that number as a percentage of how much I put down in my investment, that percentage is my yield. So if I buy a $500,000 house and I wanna get a 5% return on that in my yield, I have to generate $25,000 uh, worth of income in a year and you can't do that very easily in Bergen County because the prices are high So what options do you have? Well, one is to go for multifamily Right multifamily is an asset class that if you have two three four Apartments in the same dwelling you've got uh, the ability to, to have the rents actually catch up to the values and multifamily is awesome um, Because you've got multiple tenants. So if one tenant leaves and you spend 30 or 60 days replacing them, you don't go goose egg for that 30 or 60 days with income because you have three other tenants. So what's known as small balance multifamily is a great option, and particularly if you're in a place that the single family stock is so expensive that you can't get a yield, you look to multifamily. Um, one of the things that I would then say is, and I would ask Leonard, where do you go on vacation? Okay, if you're 40, I think 45, yeah, 45 years old, um, there must be some other place in America that you are also familiar, right? So it's not just northern New Jersey. It may be other places where you've grown up, but where do you, okay, he goes, all right, interesting. So you've already, you said you only owned one home, but it says now that you've already chosen to retire to the villages. Now, for those of you that aren't aware of the villages, villages is a phenomenon, okay? They built thousands and thousands. I think the last count was tens of thousands of houses. They built entire neighborhoods right in the middle of Florida, right? Now, Florida has more coastline than like Europe. I'm making that up. But there's a lot of coastline in Florida. But when you get into the center of Florida, Orlando, Gainesville, and the villages is right in the middle, all right? And they built these communities for retirees, to come out of the Northeast and the Midwest and any place else where you can very affordably have just a wicked good lifestyle. And I'm talking like better than college, right? You're living down there, you're retired, everybody's playing golf, everyone's going out, everybody's going, it's just, it is a an incredibly communal lifestyle and everybody's in the same phase of life. And so it's an unbelievably popular place. And because it's right smack in the middle of Florida, 
you know, those are the places, Leonard, that back when the joke was, I'll sell you some swamp land in Florida, they were talking about central Florida, probably south central Florida, but that's what they meant, right? The, the parts of Florida that were not quote unquote valuable real estate. Well, all of Florida is valuable real estate now. And so what's interesting is because you've chosen for your own reasons, um, the villages is a place you want to go, you can buy a property there. Okay, great recommendation. Buy the property you think you might want to retire to there, but rent it out. In other words, you're not going to use it. Okay, and if you've been going down there for vacation, well, then maybe you keep renting the place you've been renting, but you buy someplace else. Or there are, are cities nearby that actually present phenomenal investment opportunities in towns that not everybody really is that aware of. Um, Lakeland, Florida is an example of that. And Lakeland um, and Ocala, these are all places that are not Orlando. Orlando is a very, very good investment market, but it does um, make some people nervous because there's so many big investors that are in Orlando. Where can you go that's not as busy with investor activity, but still has phenomenal returns and maybe even better returns precisely because it's a little bit more off the beaten track and yet still has all the fundamentals of Florida? The fundamentals of Florida are glacial migration, like slow, steady, no sign of it slowing down, no sign of it doing anything but increasing. The worse the economy goes, when back of that was the case 10, 12 years ago, uh, more people moved out of New York because it was too expensive. The better the economy goes, more people move down there anyway because they have more flexibility, uh, their job is strong, and they want to relocate someplace with a higher cost of living, no sales tax, etc. And those fundamentals affect every square inch of the state of Florida. Now, what I find cool about uh, Marion County, which is where Ocala is, Ocala is not far from, uh, from the villages. And you can get a single family home in that market for under $100,000. All right. And people do not expect that. They don't expect to be able to see anything anywhere. For, if you're from the New York area, you think under, under $100,000 is a, I don't know, you can get a shed for that, right? But in Central Florida, not far from the villages, taking advantage of all these mass migration trends that are taking place, you can actually take your $50,000 and put down 25% down payments on uh, two properties, all right? And so you can leverage. Now, why is that important? Because when you own two properties, now you have two properties that are yielding, but you've got two properties that are also appreciating. So I'm a big believer, by the way, if you have 50 grand, buying a $100,000 house and putting down half is an excellent idea because then you really are just parking your money. If the place does go vacant for a month or two, it's no big deal because your payment is low um, and you can cover that. But there's a big benefit to being able to put down 25% and then see bigger growth in terms of the amount of appreciation your property gets uh, compared to how much money you actually put in. So thank you, Leonard, for asking the questions. Uh, it gave me a chance to explain to everybody how geographically there's more open to you than maybe you would have thought. And with the tools, technologies, property management um, services that are out there today, the whole country really is available to you now. So if you'd like me to answer some questions for you and get into a conversation this way, go to the Own America, that's one word, Own America, that's the name of my company, go to the Own America page on Facebook and ask the question there. Uh, we'll engage with you there. We are really passionate about helping people get past their apprehension and start taking advantage of the wealth creating power of this asset class. So Own America on Facebook, post the question, you ask them, we'll answer them. And our whole goal here is to put you in a position that you can look back in 20 years and say, hey, I'm glad I listened to that radio show. Those guys really helped.